Papano. Yeah. So that's the three for today. This is the, never mind the Premier queue, this is the Pro League queue. Yes. Your best of three, Mirage to start us off, and Nexa to receive a full AX set. A smoke deployed, and lots of Glocks through. Peppered, but they're rooting through jungle. Interesting, Nico's passive, and there's a lot of bodies here from the CT side. They want to fight, bombs down A. Valder's biff with Hunter is concluded. It's Jax that tries to keep him at bay. Amanek is behind them both, and the smoke fading now. Alexi responsible for this. Does hit the first. It's great trade from Valder. Nico has been waiting for his time to strike. Jax will neutralize, and now a real issue for Valder. He wants to try and deal with Jax. He's Damn. hitting it. Oh, and he'll take them both. <laughs> Lovely pistol out of Valder. That's four, but most impactful is the 1v2. And that could have gone so wrong in so many different ways. Yeah, I love the idea there from OG. Just channel into one of the rotation points. You see teams on that T-side pistol go towards the uh, CT spawn. This time they've gone over towards jungle and window for control here. Fiffing out with some very important trades just there. There's so many sentiments that uh, Yanko had that I have to agree with from the desk, right? It's like if they weren't switched on yesterday, 20, is 24 hours enough time to get G2 switched on to yeah. where they need to be? Like, is, is that woken them up enough? The online debuff or the land buff, what did we see from G2? You know, you brought that up as well. I, I think that was cool. I think there's some lethargy that comes into this, especially when you were G2 going up against a team yesterday, Sinners, that you're expected to beat by oh, I most. Pull the trigger. It's like a B split here. So up cat they go. The fight against Hunter has been won, and they barrel forward to Jax's Deagle. Lovely work from Jax. He's actually made a round out of this, because not only does the bomb go down B, but there is a numbers advantage, albeit slight. If Nexa finds anything here, they're grouping up. Nico's with them, and a great find. Bit of Nico on Nico action. Has he taken the capital K out of his neck? Well, they're full lowercase, both of them. Are they? Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe that's a little accidente of ah, the there it is. scenario. Thank you, Rushley. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six. That I thought I, I knew there was a at least a least a capital yeah. to differentiate. Big K, Maybe even K. two. Big yeah, K, so little K, cardboard box. Oh, G2, by the way, to one, one, one the force one. The force yeah, in case you guys missed that. They, they Excuse me, I was getting fight. a bit uh, confused, but I saw the double Nico action. Well, they did find an AK-47 and two Galils, so that's fantabulous going into round number three for G2 Esports. And Jax probably gets a whole lot of credit for that. I yeah. mean, he cut that size, that T side down to size uh, very, very quickly and efficiently with his Desert Eagle. Two is always better than one in Counter-Strike. I heard that. Now, a full Glock Eco. You don't get to see those all too often. An OG, pure round. Like, these guys are all in perfect white dresses. I don't understand, Walking though. down the aisle. What? But then they get 1,400 next round. But they might get a plant. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow, right? Nico. No, where they get 1,900 next round. Come on, it's, it's not that early, Chad. Don't that for yourself. Oh, no, says no. And once again, he's lost his... Capital K. What's Rush. going on there, Rush? Rush, talk to us. I'm so worried. boys, this is a uh, Rush, Valve issue. I cannot fix this. There needs to be some spaghetti code oh, looking don't into blame Valve. It, this isn't uh, an issue Valve. I can fix. No. So I don't know what to say, guys. This is so how the game is. You're scapegoating to Valve. Yeah, unfortunately this so. This is how the game is. It can't handle the concept of two similar names. Yeah, the identical Valve? names. Yeah. Nice one, Valve. Sorry, boys. Come yeah. on, Gabe. It's all right. I'll get over it, and oh. I'm sure we will too. Glad he apologized, though. Yeah, thank goodness. G2-2. They have immediately wrestled for control once again out of the break. OG did take that pistol. We're convincing a take. We've lost Nico again. This time, Alexi B takes him down. He's uh, flirting with some aggression. Palace, but there's a lot of bloodshed going on in mid. Valder's caught the short aggress. Hunter went for a look and lost his life. So now you can see the A defense has to react. They've actually completely given up B and Mantu's already poking and prodding, dude. They can just walk on in. Mantu to take some more space and the CT is just going to be presented an impossible scenario. It's Mantu's birthday yesterday. It was. It's Henry G's birthday today. Yeah. Happy birthday to Henry. Big happy birthday to Hank, the tank. Next is dead. Pants around the ankles there, had no oh, idea Jax Mantu had taken in so a much space. As well, I reckon. Well, Valder sound cue's been heard. Heard him. It's a safe passage away from Valder, at least. Yeah, Flames and Mantu are already starting to look on over towards that flank position. So I'll have Jax's number here, and I think Amanek might even just want to hold on to this orc as he's dipping over towards the T spawn. So the save's been called, and we're leveled up 2 2 here. Now, did you guys notice what went on in middle? If you were here for the Sinners G2 game yesterday, there was so much space given, right? You know, Sinners were like, yeah, you want to have mid, you can have it. G2 were like, you want to have mid, you can have it.
it wasn't necessarily the most biffy occasion as we just saw out of OG on the first gun round here. Gonna find himself an AK old Aminex. So upgrading from that org into the one bullet headshot machine. Yeah, Jack's the same. And we will see the bomb go off. Score tied up, 2-2. Two, two. And I, I really think that uh, OG, right, they, they want to make amends for Cologne. I don't think they felt that they, they showed their best possible form and coming out of the player break. One of the things, if you are an OG fan, actually, maybe if you're not an OG fan, you'd know that previously when they had MBK and Issa, for them, boot camping wasn't really a possibility. Now, that feels like they've done it twice within six months. So uh, it's going to go a lot better for this new roster with Flames in the team. Obviously, we know the more recent addition of him and Nico uh, joining Alexi B. Volta and Mantu. This project has been around for some time now. Mm, he's called a full like, A pop. You two lined up. No presence in mid, so Amanek takes a glance and has nothing to report. Next is hiding in on triple, and this comes here comes the commit. Flames first around the corner. The smoke's just as he pops, so do they. Nexa does very well. Nearly three. Valda catching a bullet to the dome. Working on just nine HP. Solid defense so far through the smoke. Careful now, Nico's been caught. They're evacuating. Bombs dropping all the way back through a ramp here, so they pulled this full rotation. They'll need to get a move on right now if they want to beat them back towards B, but the util is still on the site, and G2 are trying to work out where OG have gone. It's too quiet. Who's going to work it out first? You can see, just watch that minimap. Hunter starting to flirt with the possibility of a jungle flank. He hasn't even considered B yet. They're still stampeding over there. Hunter starting to get a wiggle on. I think he'll get there before them. They'll just be crossing the windows, and Valder's low. Light on util, but he has his bullets, and he's just beating them. Tucked in on the site. Element of surprise still activated. He's tucked in perfectly. Alexi, if he goes for the plants, a dead man. First, Valder does manage to evade the refrag. Hunter didn't catch Alexi on the jump back. 40 seconds, they can dance this one out. Bomb's committed here, so they cannot run back to A now. Not even a fake Oh, you're plan. brave. Wow. You're so brave. <laughs> and it does enable them to kind of turn the tide a bit. If Nico is responsible for that window, Alexi has to worry about short and kitchen walk up. And the no hunters ahead of the pack. I like the crossfire here. This is actually pretty potent. Solid hold. Hunter to worm through. Nico should catch a glimpse of him first. Bomb about half gone now. And that's the first chance. Nice find from Nico. More to come. He hears the steps of Amanek. Jack's ahead of him. No time for this, really, G2. They played this very well. OG, a, a beautiful and graceful 2v3, if you don't mind my saying. Wow, they've actually pulled this one off in style. I cannot believe the nature of Alexi B there just to sit and trust Nico to cover everything. Short was always going to be an option. They gambled and they gambled correctly. What a huge round for OG to win. The A exec, it didn't go as planned. You can see here, Flames had pushed so far out and he was even about to get that kill before the smoke wall had completely bloomed. You think Hunter's done enough, he's gotten over in time, undetected. But I think that round right there maybe spells some of the troubles that we saw out of G2 yesterday. And it's almost a lack of idea of, uh, of what they want to do, right? They don't have that killer instinct. Yesterday, they, they were kind of letting the game come to them. And in that 3v2 situation on the B-bomb site, it was more the same. They were hoping that OG made a mistake. Lots of very different looks back to back from OG. Now they're hitting us with a four mid and already Alexi B is charging into that window. Oh my goodness. There's a back turned right now. He actually could have a slight catch. Nico was not ready for that. Hunter, the cousin has avenged his fallen comrade and we find ourselves in a 4v4 with a lot of lost info middle. They leave Amanek solo B, so Valder boosting up to window for a little bit of a late twist to the tail. 70 seconds, no rush at all. One of the problems that does start to come to the conversation here with Amanek so passive is if they can make it through B apps and just pop onto him, that AWP is going to be harder to find impact. But with the bus parked towards middle, Nico ready to put late A ramp presence and the lion's share of G2 residing over towards this A site. It almost looks like OG were destined to finish there. And as I started saying that, we've seen Nico slowly backpedal away. So they're hoping that an aggressive maneuver from G2 comes through here. They're playing without much info. Oh, we've got some CT utility around that 40 second mark and that's going to slow down OG's plan. So the clock's going to become, a, a, you know, another element in this 4v4. Nico for the late smoke. He'll be dropping that around the 20 second mark. They're not playing retake. This is about to get very dicey. Yeah, here they come. 
Resmoked out on connector. They'll push through. Windows does arrive. Valda did catch Hunter, and there's more to come. Jack is under there. Big find from the AKs and running out of resources. Next is well next. Well handled. And that's a really smooth finish for OG. I, I like how, as a unit, they were able to isolate that jungle fight onto Hunter. Over there, right? You always have a combo, combo of. Valda jumping through the window where he was mantled up on the little ledge. Now it's about hunting this AWP off Amanek, and well, they should get their way here. He does take down Valda. Market is locked off. Flames is coming. Nico's here too. Completely surrounded right now. And Amanek's AWP does not strike true. Mantu will get tagged, but finishes the frag. And 4-2 to two is the scoreline now, with G2 having to swallow the bitter pill of a save. So intent, I think intent was the word I was looking for here, right? Even if you're playing on the CT side and we know that you're defending, you still need to have intent in how you want to handle these rounds, right? Are we going to try and, you know, force them out of the mid control? Are we going to give them the mid control? Does that mean we want to isolate the extremities? You, you still have to have a game plan of, of what you want to go into here. You can't just go, all right, guys, let's just hold our spots, right? It, it doesn't work like that, especially at the top level of Counter-Strike. We do have uh, a couple of light upgrades, P250, Deagle, CZ. And a smoke for Nico, interestingly enough. Util being lobbed on over towards A. Alexi B almost looking like he's going to sell this one on his own. Bomb on the back of the B attack. Jax is always a threat. You saw what his, interesting choice, his isn't pistols it? can do. I mean, his deagle in the apps yesterday was just fruity. He always good for that double when others would only find one. They've got Alexi B out this far. They might actually call off and go back towards A because yeah. uh, he's received absolutely no resistance so far. And it is the right call. G2 have Nico floating around window. Amanek and Hunter pushed up on catwalk. Jax was over towards B. But they're opting to go through the underpass. So this could actually get yeah. quite messy here. <laughs> if Hunter's patient, which he seems to be looking away, he has a threatening angle here. Oh, dear. One for one. It's not the end of the world, nor the round. There is a flank top mid as well as Nico. Element of surprise, bodies will drop. And yeah, G2 just at the will and the whim of OG at this point in time. They just don't have the weapons to truly be a part of the conversation. A couple of opportunities, but that will be a bomb plant and that should be a fifth. What do you think about the standing on the box strategy we've gone for today? Currently, no critiques. Very, I, very happy. I think we have a six mapper, so we won't be able to stand all day. No. But this is better for my back. Well, I'm happy because, I mean, we are both kind of role-playing Jason Kaplan right now. We're all about eight feet tall. Yeah, um, giants. It does feel good, though. I kind of feel more powerful. Yeah, me too. The oxygen's higher up here. I can't fidget as much, though. I have to stand it still. Is, it, I've picked up the spinner. But I, I can't Maybe stop. that's good. Mm. Less movement. Maybe maybe that's what we need. Yeah. Keeps my focus entirely on the video game. We, I used to work in a supermarket, and they used to teach you to, like, roll on back. Well, don't roll on the box. All right, Careful. never mind. Uh, back into the counter straight now. Almost Ooh, killed myself. They've got so much freedom here. No one's contesting. At least on this connector post-up. So there's a universe where Hunter and Jax get hot and heavy quickly. Nexter is going to have a glance as they progress. He's in the open right now. It's a bit of a odd position. When they tuck in towards the default box and they watch it, you can understand why, because that connector creep, it's not the first angle you'll be ready for as a T. Mm, CT smokes off connector. That's Alexi B's cue to start worming his way into the, what was previously perpetually smoked window room. There goes Mantu. Good timing on the fight from Nexa, and the crossfire works wonderfully. Nico and Nexa both picking one up for G2, and Alexi could have his back turned. Oh, the bodies just keep dropping. It's only Valda. And a spotless round eight for G2. Well, there's some intent, right? They clearly wanted to take a fight. They're pushing through a connector smoke. They're going and taking the battle to OG, and it's panned out beautifully here for G2. Now it's about keeping everybody alive. There's lots of money in the bank balance of the OG members, and if Valder wanted, when you have the AK, you've got a full bag of utility on your belt and the head armor. Just hold on to it. You know, maybe you get an extra kill or two on the way out the door. They get a little bit hunty, a little bit horny on the chase. We've all been there. Everyone's been there, you know. The the boss is yelling. All right, boys, you know, just just let him save, let it. And someone always overpeaks. But uh, about 15 seconds now, and can well, we, we have a look at the rugs on sale, three. please? Um, MC team? is MC, MC here today? I just want to see what like he's what on I it, choose he's on it. Uh, if I was walking into the store. Cheers, bro. Oh, I don't mind this kind of yellow, like Versace looking one. It's like okay. yellow and black one. I see ya, I see ya. I think the classic red would go well in like a hallway. Yes. Put that in my hallway, my greeting room. You ever consider putting a rug on a wall? I haven't. 
Maybe think about it. Have you ever considered putting like a tie-dye mandala sheet bed sheet on the wall? No. No, you said, well, that's the same kind of question you just asked me. Well, some people have rugs on the wall. Who do? Who do? Who I feel that? like I've read You've some sci-fi that have rugs ah, on the wall. Okay. Yeah. I'd probably I get seen it. it. I mean, I, I like it's kind of like a, a, a tapestry kind of vibe. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Maybe it's not a rug. Maybe it's a well-patterned rug. Lexi B loves this gap in mid, and he's going to jump through it this time with double smokes. That's the fight. There's another coming. Jack's great trade. But as pressure B, he reacts accordingly as well. Bodies into the site, three of them to be specific. He has to find something. Mantu denies that, and now the cross on Kitchen's held. He won't get past that line. Mantu posted up. Now they smoke it out. He will once again lose control of it. Three versus four, though. G2 go for this. They might now. Nico's Good out shot. the window, hitting some scorching headshots. Speaking of Scorch, Molly will hold them at the door. Amanek opts for the window instead. They're going for this. Bomb about half gone. Next are in support. Only a flashbang on Nico, but it's more headshots that he hands to OG. Getting sensitive on the clock here. Need a fake at least. Draw those headshots out. He's clearing the right corners. He knows Flames is tucked in. Good from next, so they can hold it now. And there's only the AWP. Mantu needs to finish the job. One more bullet. Oh, he got off. No open. time. And that's the end of that. They'll make it six. Everybody goes down with the ship right there. That one got very, very chaotic. And thanks to the Bosnian Nico. You know, his ability to push on out that window, isolate a couple of jewels, they made that possible. Otherwise, it was looking done and dusted. You think once you get those two kills on the B-bomb site, you're able to get on in. Here's the action again for you. So a big kill on Tavalda. This one here was important as well. And then at this point, you could see the setup in the B apartments from Flames and Mansu. There was actually a flash to try and allow the peak from Flames. I don't know if it landed exactly where Mansu wanted it to, mm. but uh, they still pick up the round. Being the fantasy. Okay. Yes. Are there other major characters? Oh, certainly. Yeah. And is is Alu the, uh, <laughs> the Alu, villain? Alu the Deceiver okay. uh, is actually his full name. Yeah, Alu right. the Deceiver. He's got a forked tongue. All right. Well, uh, they've deceived them here because there's not much pressure middle. It's about to be a three apartments pop. Damage just got done to Nico, and actually that will be the yeah, cancel. Cancel that one. Yeah, so they know we're coming. Uh, let's reposition right here, right now. Is it, we know when we call them cancels. I know it's not always the case, but you can affirm as an ex-pro yourself, sometimes it is just like one player will we'll say it, and everyone just immediately takes their hands off the keyboard. Does it matter who it is? Does it have to come from the leader? I, I think cancel, cancel, cancel. I think Alexi would have called it as soon as soon as Nico gets hit. It's yeah. like, all right, well, they know the jig's up right now. We're going to stop ourselves from just running into the blender. Oopsie. Well, they still might be doing exactly that. Yeah, well, Nico's comfortable on these headshot angles. He's even got the silence done for for this one. And if, if there was one kind of redemp redemption um, storyline for G2 out of yesterday's loss to Sinners, was Nico was definitely looking for Seems like his form is returning in a very big way. Hunters as well, right? Hunters, you know, both of them, yeah. Their powers combined have looked very, very good. I just think by the time we get to that third map, they were just... I don't know if they... I, I've spoken about this before. That when you go into a game and you're the favorites, if everybody in the team is a little bit complacent, right? If you're only in there at 80%, then you think, okay, that's all right. Nico and Hunter, they'll pick up the slack, right? If everybody goes in with that kind of a mindset, mm. you're never going to be where you need to be. The other team is playing for everything. And we saw Sinners... Look... They looked very tidy on their CT side of Vertigo. I think that was very well organized. I think Mirage, you saw some positive signs out of them as well. Shock was the uh, name that we weren't expecting to play to, to his level. Neofrag so, and Oscar uh, were the two main Can we see Alexi B's nerdy smoke? Is this for an A fake from his smoke grenade? Oh, no, it's a standard one. I got thought that we had a sweaty lineup. Okay, Jax has got a lot to contend with here, and they've done very well, actually. The Danish Nico's opened up the site a little bit with a weapon retrieved on Valder. Now gone, they can't beat Hunter. They'd love to be Hunter, but he's making it so damn hard to get across this point in the sand. Oh, and then there's just a USB headshot for good measure. Give him the ace. It's his next to steal it. But a solid defense of OG's attempt for a quick extra plant. Yeah, they would love getting that bomb down here because they did invest into a round like that. Now OG will be staring down the barrel of an economical. Uh, next round, the AKs will come out once more. Now, a, a plant would be good. It means they could maybe consider the AWP for Mantu going forward. It's not essential, right? You, you don't need to get it for him. But uh, with six already, I think one more round for OG within this half, and they're going to be more than content. More than happy how things have unfolded here. Nico getting a little bit aggressive up middle and has some Glocks to farm. Doesn't want to overstep the magic lines. Just a deep nade, and this is where we might have one of those eco rounds, ladies and gentlemen, where you see OG just 
spread out across the map and try and milk whatever utility they can away from G2 just to force them to reinvest. Now, money's not too much of an issue over there. Milk? Or the headshots. Yeah. Have you ever milked a cow, Chan? I think I have as, as a youngster. I yeah. think on a farm stay, maybe. A farm stay? Was that Did, like with school or like No, with I think family? My, pa my parents took us on. Like me and my sister, you go to the country. Yeah. You stay in like a nice little hut. Probably more like a villa. Like a reality TV farming show. That yeah, you but sign up for yourself. Yeah, and then you go and there's like chickens and you get the eggs. Do you have like a lead farmer that you were like well, following around a the farm. farm? Yeah, yeah. So you did. You did. What else did you do? You ride a horse? Uh, I don't think I rode a horse. What kind of farm activities did you get up to then? Well, we collected. Day? We collected eggs? eggs from the chickens. Ah, lovely. Um, it's also very green, so you do lots of walking around in. Walking. in the, there's a lot of bush. Farmers land. do do a lot yeah, of walking. Yeah. Uh, I think you get to see things like sheep getting sheared. Ooh, that is exotic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of damper, but it's a type of bread we make in Australia. Damper? Yeah. Check it out. For now, we do have a 4v4 and a lot more presence in Nico's fights in mid. <gasps> Nico's he fights in mid. He did it again. Mid. He loves that fight. He just does it for style points at this point, but Manti's just been executed, full on embarrassed. And there's two members of OG remain. Nico is on one today, Chaddy. I reckon we're going to have another. Monstrous Nonsense performance, yeah. performance, yeah. 17 kills already. That's seeming very, very He's tidy. He's not slowing isn't down. It? No. As, as Willy Wonka once said, that it shows no signs of slowing. The rowers keep on rowing. Well, um, he has the highest ADR at the moment and uh, the highest utility damage for the server as well. So, contributing in buckets and spades right now. Do you have the golden ticket or is, is that the sequel? Mm, I think the sequel is the elevator. Ah, uh, that's right. Or is that the end of the first? I feel it's the end of the first. Yeah, it is. But I swear there was, it was called the Magical Elevator. I don't know. I don't know. Brain just mush at this point. Charlie got a letter. No, nope, no, nope, that's Harry Potter, actually. Yeah. I just mixed the two. Charlie lives with, like, his four grandparents who all share a bed. Yeah, and big shout out to the, the, the scrounging grandfather that is bedridden until Charlie Bucket gets the golden ticket and then suddenly is doing jumping jacks. Of course he is. Yeah, pff, come on, man. Ooh. It's not going to be an Alexi B clutch, but it could have been an Alexi B kill or two. So, 7 to 6, the score now reads. And once again, OG don't necessarily have all the money they need. We're talking 3.2 on the high end for Nico, and 2.9 on the low end for Flames. So, as you all know at home, it's good territory to buy a Deagle, maybe a Tech 9, some Kevlar, a smoke or two. Looks like the Deagles uh, opted in here. We've got four of which, as Malik, he looks a little bit, I was going to say more impressed today, but let's say less disappointed. Yes, less disappointed. I think that will be, that's more astute. Because the kids were naughty yesterday, weren't they? Yeah, he wasn't happy with what they put were putting down. Nice elevated angle over the smoke. The Flames does manage to catch a, a tag onto Jax. And the two-man B setup for now is about to be tested once again. Just walking on in. Deagle variant as opposed to the Tech 9. And it looks like it could be the same Hunter result. Yeah, he loves that M4. Just sprays through the apps for two. If they can find Jax, he is so low. One bullet would do it. They want a wide swing on this, and they will eventually get it. No one can trade. Nico and Amanek coming in from the kitchen side, and Amanek's already caught one. Nico makes it 19, and the 20th could just be Alexi B. Oh, Amanek looking the wrong way. Well repositioned. He's got one bullet left in the deagle. He wants to take a pot shot. Nico is low, vulnerable, but still G2 will make it eight and win out the first half. All right, well, they've recovered here. Always looking fantastic for OG with the early stages, but now G2 have really started to get some wing, wind beneath their wings as they have five on the trot here. Now, Mantu, for the final round of play in this first half, will be gifted with the AWP. AKs are there as well. And both teams have a complete full buy. Head armor for everybody on G2. Everybody has a kit. Bunch of upgraded sidearms into the Deagles. Jax is the only one who didn't. So this is a, a full buy for round number 15 here. Let's see if OG can change the story going into the second half. Mid control, very, very quickly garnered. Oh, Valda and Mantu were both posted up ready for that. Amanek tries to throw some aggression into the mix in our final round of the CT side, and it's been met by bullets. Good find. OG have an advantage here, and Nico immediately falling. Oh, Nexa does very well on the repeak.
Stance is ground on A, makes it a 3v3, defending this A push. It's Nico in connector, still a thorn in the side of Valder. Flames has been very quiet on this T side. Maybe he can perhaps catch that connector player. Perhaps he <laughs> requires uh, at least two more frags. Bomb down. And they're already spraying him through. No hope. Nico's just had done with this and done with this half. He'll make it nine. G2 really do like a solid recovery. Don't forget how this one started. We had a five to two scoreline in favor of OG. And they wrap it up nice before that uh, he feels every team within this group will get at least one win. And I think with Sinners yeah. and Fours kicking off the group yesterday <laughs> with victories, seeming very, very likely now. And the volatility of VP, like watch them look real weird yesterday and come in looking spicy today. It's strange. VP's a hard one to call. Ooh, and ooh, oh dear. That's They're already, already in. It, up. it might be Mantu that has to pick up some pieces here because Flames has let them through. That's a calm one. It's Valder instead that fills the feed. And yeah, Nico, you're good. But I don't think you're that good. Too many bodies. Falls down after just two. And OG do close the gap after the pistol. Okay, well, that's both pistol rounds for OG so far. But they need to convert this second here. We know how it went for them in the first half. It was how... G2 were able to establish some rounds early with that force by victory off the back of Jax getting the double on short. Now it is going to be uh, a basically a full eco out of G2 as well here. Nico's the only one to invest. This is made possible because of those kills he just got. They still will buy within that next round. Just one Deagle. Bunch of blocks out top mid. Man two. Finds the first. And while the rest should follow quite swiftly here, nade damage in. The pistols are out from Alexine. Hold up a second. A Glock kill and a Deagle frag. <laughs> Cousins are at it again. There should be no voice at all in this one. And I'm afraid it should just end to the fam ass here. Valda did catch a glimpse of them, but they've managed to slink away. Yeah, now that they've lost them, this becomes interesting. Because if uh, Hunter is able to be traded off of Nico, maybe he can isolate a jewel and get that bomb down. And this is a round that should never have been so costly. Remember, it was four Glocks and just the Deagle and Nico, and they've already found two kills. Anything more at this point is a bonus. And you know they've swapped languages right now. Oh, just, 100%. Just in case they can find that extra percentage that leads to a frag. Now, if Nico was to knock Valder out with a perfect crosshair place Deagle, one bang, we've got the bomb down, and they're actually a threat. 24 kills already. Madness right now out of Nico. Yeah, he's got a point to prove this pro league, I think. The silver medal over in Cologne, weighing heavy on his neck. Oof. Quite the off angle here from Valder. I don't think Nico's going to be preaming that. Oh, but he's missed his shots. So now Nico knows that is the only B player. Hard shots to hit. Can't quite pull them across the line, and it will be OG with the 2 0 start on the CT side. Okay. Things are about to get interesting, though. The AKs are coming out. Remember that damage that they've just sustained. So we'll be looking to throw some weapons around. A Famous over to Nico. Flames, he's. If they're going to give that MP9 to Alexi B or upgrade himself here. They've just had the discussion. So Flames is going to be just upgrading into Util. Alexi purchased for himself here. And yeah, this buy, it's lacking a little bit of utility for OG to defend with here. But the same can be said for G2's attack. They don't have all the nades required. Mid control with three. An event boost from Mantu. Almost fluffs his lines there. Nico with a few extra bullets, but Jax goes down, immediately upgrades to that AK. And wow, the mid take from G2 seems a little bit flat. Hunters had to backpedal out of connector. Jax was the only one in a forward position. Nexa and Amanek backpedaling out of the A apartments as well. And back towards A we go. Feels like OG have a decent idea this is coming now that Alexi has rotated over to help out Flames up close and personal in Sandwich here. So the setup's not too bad to withstand this A-take. It's really not. The rotation's the problem, right? Flames and Alexi need to get one each. I'd have loved Flames up that ladder. He was thinking about it temporarily, but he's opted for dark. Now, Alexi has a good, good angle from Sandwich here. He should be able to contribute, but not now. He's molotov out. Screw swings out. Does neutralize Nico. The trade is not... Too far away. Flame still peppers from Tetris. Upgrades to the AK. He is a threat. And so is Mantu. Swings out. Damage inflicted. They have to clear this corner. Flames on Hunter. And Hunter's wanted out. Such, an ish such a nuisance for OG is Hunter. Bomb traversing the A site. And there is a bit of a time element to this. Oh, wow, He's not looking. And Valder straight through the smoke for a double. 
Oof, all right, that was an interesting push from Volder. They're very high risk, but you could see so many places Hunter was having to worry about there. The smoke push was the last thing on his mind. We're leveled up at 9-9, an important one to win here. And you can see just the gap under the smoke being punished. Looking for those little booties. I love the pivot from Flames, like the kind of the instantaneous decision making between Alexi and Flames as the Molly came into Sandwich. Like, those aren't necessarily protocols. That's just a good reaction. He dips into ramp, hedges his bets that are coming through Palace and manages to be a threat and delay. It looked like Alexi thought maybe the Molly had been just a little bit misthrown yeah. as well, right? And, and there's some things. Once you get mollied, if you swing immediately, that's what they want. Here's Mansi with a bit of eco bashing. Had a bit of that within the first half. Let's see if he can withstand the onslaught coming his direction right now. Alexi's chipping on in. The bomb has been dropped. And the last three... Should be found momentarily. Nico takes down Nexer, and it is just the one man surviving here, Nico. Ah. Well, if they need him, I guess they don't have to worry about him ripping off the head with a deagle because that's the second one on his toes. And the alt bullet finishes him off. So OG back in the lead, 10 to 9. It's the same kind of start they got on the T side. Let's see if uh, G2 hit their stride as they did in the first. Couple of AK-47s now on the uh, CT fingertips. Just going to level out some of those head-to-head -head duels we've been seeing. And it's just our first map. You can see the OG's pick top right if you're looking for the info. Inferno is our second G2 pick in that. I'm sure that OG are more than happy to go into Inferno as the second round. I know that they didn't have the greatest of times on it over in Cologne, but it's a map that Alexi loves calling on. Ooh, oh, so blind and a great find. Alexi with a spot of aggression. It seems Nico wants to throw some more down range. That's very brave. He hard commits to the spray. Amanek was tagged, sure, but it's resulted in the even of the odds. 4v4, three smoke, wind do great catch from Rush as Mantu gets Nexa. He was just a bee lurk going for a look, but the AWP posted up. Does mean that OG once again returned to an adv advantageous position. Flames pretty locked in on this connector push. If Hunter doesn't clear his corners, we are now staring down the barrel of a Nico and Amanek 2v4, not to be trifled with. Mantu's already on CT, so should you try and plant, unless it's triple side, in which case Alexi and Flames are going to have something to say about this. Good catch. Legs 11. All right, OG. Five rounds separating them from taking away their pick. Just feels like everywhere G2 went there, they met resistance and they just couldn't get through. It's simple as that. And then when you're left within that late round, having to find some room, there's so many unanswered questions. You don't know exactly where the CTs may lie. And just think about the life of somebody like Flames, who's the A anchor here, right? Like within the first, I think it was... 15, 20 seconds of the round. He's dropped his molly, he's dropped his smoke, he's flashed over mid to help out, and he's left with the H's. A nice recipe for success, I say that. Three deagles, of course, the majority, but we are seeing more and more Tech Nines weasel their way into these kind of rounds in 2021. I thought they might just want to go for a B exec here, but they're going for mid control with deagles. And look, as much as the hand cannon is pretty nasty, if you. Can't get any equal fights, you're just going to get melted like this. I think the bench jump there was spotted from Amanex, so they know that he's close under window. Hunter's in the smoke as well, and Nexa. Alexi knows. He knows exactly what you're trying to do. And his cross says perfectly placed to deal with it. He's had quite the resurgence. I think a very quiet first half from Alexi, but his mid aggressive fights have been rewarded both in the full buys and these anti ecos. Yeah, I looked with, with the amount of nades that we just saw G2 buy that they might want to consider going for a set piece, you know, just like a, an A go and hopefully we can get in and get the bomb down. But just going for more of the uh, same in middle here and Vald is more than happy to clean up the final two. I really need to see what G2 have got on this T side. The evidence so far is, is null and void. We have no nothing to go off of for their T campaign so far. It was a 9-6 half, yet to see them break the OG defense. And they've got everything they could possibly need here, Chad. So let's see what that call is. Next up, the puppet master of this G2 Samurai. And Jax, wow, just gets caught through the tiniest of gaps. Mantu will catch him up top mid. Prior to the smoke. Well, now with the number advantages, oof, okay, well, they know that 
They know right now that Flames was close because they would have heard the sound cue of that molly tickle in his feet. I guess one of the biggest problems for OG right now is if they gamble incorrectly, right? They have Valder very passive over towards CT spawn watching window. Mantu and Nico are both passive on the B bomb site. It is just Alexi and Flames over towards A. And right now, as it stands, G2 are looking like they want to hit this A bomb site. More utility being dumped and more presence being noted, right? That flash, there's, you know there's going to be a peek behind it. So G2 know that they're still close. They know but that uh, OG think the, the coast is clear. If they actually start dumping util, like Hunnexa and Hunter's positions imply, actually, I say that, they don't even have smokes, dude. It's only Amanek and Nexa. So Nexa can throw one. He's looking for jungle. Yeah, Amanek's not in a position to really throw a smoke either. So... Flames can smoke them off react reactionarily. So as soon as he hears Nexus pin pulled, he'll throw his, and then it's just walking through Gray Scream, which is not going to be fun. Palace currently smoked. Yeah, we're almost at 30 seconds. He should dump it now. Mantu's even got smoke. So has Flames. So he's dumped it now. Locks down ramp. Valder's rotated over. That's, oh, and Alexi's actually beaten out the push on Palace. Great find through the smoke. They'll have to disrespect it now and catches Alexi in transition to Dark. Valder with it all to do. They are low, though. Very vulnerable to the bullets and is even an AWP to contribute as well. Hunter and Amanek both default side. I suspect Valder's got this one locked. Amanek is first victim and so is Hunter. 13 for OG and G2 still yet to break their silence on our second half. Okay, let me just do some quick maths right here. I believe that is 10 kills in... What are we talking here? Seven rounds of play in this second half? 10 kills in seven rounds. So that's from G2. Only oh, right, 10 kills yeah. in the seven rounds. So they haven't got a single bomb plan. Right? They haven't gotten into the site, got that bomb down once. The most amount of kills they've managed on a round was three, and that was the first weapon round they had as round number three. So not really doing a whole lot of damage here whatsoever. And because they're not getting the bomb down, they're not getting the extra cash. And now they're going for a B hit. Nico and Volda are about to be tested. Yep. This is like the dry runs. You've been practicing these. Nico and Valda fall into the bench crossfire. And down they go. Big find, hard spray. It favors G2 just a little more now. Alexi's already a bit of ahead of the pack. Hunter's on bench though, and he wasn't ready for that. So all onto Flames. OG's quietest member. Perhaps all will be forgiven should he find the 14th. It's all Hunter though. Two quick taps. The two Kovac boys with two frags apiece. Does put OG's defense down for the first time this half. And the first plant. So not like the bomb was the necessity in this one here, bang. but it's always good to see that changing. That was a massive drive-by. And a nice second shot there as well. Some Nico on Nico action. And there you go. So the dry spell, it's all it, over. All it took was a B rush with pistols. Yeah, simple as that, right? Let's see, does that change the pace or how they want to be approaching this T side here? Looks like we're going back to the mid defaults with a run boost. Jack's to be launched across. They're actually playing the AWP of Mantu here from the triple box on A. So they're hoping that G2 poke their head up into this connected position, which has just been smoked off twice. I think there may be a missed window smoke. This one right here would have been destined to cover off that window position. It's going to make traversing up for that A presence for Hunter a little bit more difficult. We're heading back over towards A. Flames and Mantu this time to be put under the pump. Good timing on the smoke. They are going to disrespect it off the flash. Oh, Nexus postured for it. Waits for a second flash. Flames is looking the wrong way, and that should be even. Four to four. Mantu's AWP from CT. He throws a smoke to play around as well. Hunter is poking and prodding on the B Lurk here as well, so we've got something to keep in track of. The bomb is a side Tetris, but Nico's been punished. Pantsed all the way from downtown, and that's going to get the CTs a little confused. They are evacuating. If Alexi pushes up mid, he can kind of cut off this rotation, but he's actually going to run it through underpass, which could be even better here. Good read from Alexi here. Very spicy stuff. There's going to be a very time-sensitive mission. If he can just cause enough chaos to slow him down, Timing's everything, timing is everything. Does strike. Next up, Amanex, the one he with the bomb. This. He needs to finish it now, and he has 10 seconds, and suddenly it's chaos for G2. Alexi forces him into a very uncomfortable. You don't have time, bro. Nico knows it. It will be 14, and it's a product of Alexi and his big, swelling brain. 
That's crazy. That's crazy that they tried to change the play like that uh, with Alexi being able to rotate through that avenue to underpass, right? Hunter thinks he's done it all. He thinks he's absolutely done it all. Yeah, boys, come back to B. I've got the rotation completely cut off. Well, the jig's up. OG worked that out very quickly that it wasn't going to be the A play. Alexi read them like a book. And this multi-kill right here secured round number 14. What a huge play from Alexi. You got to be feeling good about that one. Smile on his face. Claps in the background there from the peanut gallery. And boy, oh boy, this one that you don't necessarily have to. He's taking it top mid. He wants to have a look. Alexi B is already down in the underpass. And he's just going to be the footstool for Jax again. Alexi, oh, back to back in the underpass. This time he opens the round up as opposed to closing it. And Volder's pushing B apartments here as well, so they can oh, call man. this clear already. OG are playing a good game. Nexo is going to back off, so I'm not sure Valde is going to push past his current position, but regardless, they will have the Canary and the Coal Mine, the early warning system on that B bomb site, and that's given them the ability right now to play heavy over towards A. Flames, Nico, Mantu with Alexi B in connect are ready to contribute. Flames got a very tough job here. You've, we've kind of watched his attempts to defend this up against the G2X sec. I like the timing on that flash as it fades. The fully blind flames set up perfectly by his teammate. And it's three. Magnificent from the newest edition. This time it pays off. You're right. He's been getting bullied in that role, hasn't he? Up close and personally, he's been getting flashed. They've been hard clearing him. through smoke. Yeah, this time it works. And he'll even close it out with the final frag of the round there. So four for Flames. He's going to be feeling good about that one. And one more round required now for OG to pick up their map choice. We move on to Inferno, and like I said, look, OG, it's not, they're not going to hate going to Inferno. When you're in this map pool, which is the Mirage, Inferno, Dust 2, in case you're just joining us, they're comfortable on all three of those. The same is said for G2, but that's the thing. It's not like we're like, oh, no, we, you know, how are we going to react? We, we, we haven't gone through our paces. It's more about what type of counter is going to get dished on the server. There's no surprises. There's no curveballs. It's standard stuff. Oh, dear. Jax was so far ahead of the pack, he's just gone down and now they can't even attempt to be right behind him. The flames arrive and the bullets do too. This one's done. G2, one at a time. Like they're queuing for the arc. Actually, you had to queue in pairs for the arc, didn't you? Two by two. Two by two. Yeah. yeah. Hurrah. 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 And it is certainly a hurrah for OG, even if G2 now certainly looking a little lost on their T side of Mirage. A single round posted. OG, though. Coming into this group and looking fierce. This is a huge scout for them to take. If they, I mean, you can put, you can put it, phrase it two different ways. I'm also really concerned if G2 do slip up in this series, like their hopes and dreams of a of a playoff run are going to be hanging in the balance. Yeah, at this point, fours and complexity become must wins for them going yeah. forward in the group, and then their game against VP could be the decider for that third slot. Next up, well, he's going to do his best to fight through this round. Flames is down, four to find. He's going to step out into the shooting gallery, and there he 